it's a pride to see your child play in a place. You see, so let us let us take care of our youth. You, you have the responsibility as parents for those who have come. I know most uh, are youth. Uh, build something out of your presence in America, the land where dreams are realized. Somebody asked, what's the reward for disarmament? If, if the youth got disarmed, what is the reward to them? Well, let me read his mind. If you were thinking that we would give reward in terms of, of financial reward, no. I have said, if we have a secure society, we'll get a lot of rewards. One, the government will provide the basic services. Education. In a place where there is trouble, there is insecurity, you don't get education. No teachers go to school where there is insecurity. You will pro we will provide services. This is a reward health services, roads will be built, this is a reward. Clean water will be provided, this is a reward. Trade will flourish, this is a reward. Government will work, it's a reward. Their own security, their own lives will be secure, this is a reward. Having arms, a raiding cattle with it doesn't take us anywhere. So our reward is government will function, lives will be secured, property will be secured, services will be provided. Uh, Somebody said most infrastructure, including hospitals, were built with money from the resources of South Sudan. Why should the South accept to pay or help Khartoum instead of building hospitals and schools similar to those in the North? We have not accepted to give the transitional financial assistance. We rejected it on the basis of the fact that the North is more advanced than the South. And even the closure of the pipeline, the flow of the oil, is going to affect the economy in the North more than the economy in the South. Because the economy in the South is very primitive. The economy in the North is advanced. They need the proceeds of the oil, whether they get it through the tariffs we pay, or through trade with the South. The South is a dumping ground for the North. They even have closed the borders. So it's going to affect the North more than the South. We have not accepted uh, to pay the five billion, because we say they didn't deserve it. After all, they built the North more than the South when the country was one. Disarmament, I want to repeat, disarmament will be simultaneous. It will be done at the same time. The Murle will be disarmed at the same time that Noor will be disarmed, at the same time that the Denka will be disarmed, at the same time. We have timed it once so that nobody makes excuses for refusing to hand over their guns. 
So it's it 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 will it, uh, as uh, Reverend James James Garner tried to say, disarm the moral first. No, we'll disarm them all. It is true that once, or actually twice, we had disarmed law and order. And by the way, when after the disarmament of law and order in 2006, when I visited law and order in 2007, the chiefs, the local administrators, were very happy because then the youth could listen to them. 